Hey guys, this is me at the back on this entry and today I'm going to be shooting a video on how to make an easy paper Dr. Octopus's hand and the claw thingy, the octopus tentacles or whatever it is, but that is exactly what I'm going to be trying to make trying to be making today. We're using just some ordinary A4 papers and in front of you are a bunch of empty papers, so I'm going to be trying to create the arms using all these papers so also I'm gonna be giving myself a challenge to finish it as quickly as possible because a lot of you guys are looking to make one very easily and very quickly as well so that is exactly what I'm aiming for now let's put these aside and we're gonna get our important materials which are just a bunch of ordinary stationary items like these so we're gonna begin with our ordinary A4 paper and just a second, I need to clear my table. Alright, now I'm gonna take just one of these A4 paper. Actually, no, I'm gonna start with this guy and this guy. So, for our octopus arm, we're gonna need a backpack where we can attach all four arms to. So, this is gonna be our backpack. I'm gonna cut this unnecessary looking piece out. And then I'm gonna open up this. How do I open this up? Uh, there it is. Okay. So I've opened this silver looking thing to make my backpack out of because I don't want it to tear. So if I make it out of paper, it's surely gonna tear apart. So I'll be using this guy. Now I don't know how long exactly I need it to be to make sure it doesn't open up, but. Let's see, I think this much will do the trick. So I'm gonna like make a cut right there and uh, tear it apart like that. So I've got this done and I'm gonna let it fold or roll. Fold it in half like this. Cut it into two equal pieces. Open it up once again. And then make folds like this to make the backpack out of. Okay, there's one. And then there's the second fold. Oh, this is super hard to do. Okay, there it is. So I'll be using a bit of my tape to make sure it doesn't open up. Perfect. Now I'm going to use my stapler as well just because they're much more quicker to do these kinds of projects with. So make sure the stapler faces the other way around from where you are wearing the backpack. Otherwise you'll like wound yourself. Nice. So there's one done. Now let's do the same for the other one. I'm actually going to cut this part out, so I'll see you when this one's done. So I've got two pieces like this, now I'm going to fold it in this way to make it look like a backpack strap. So I'm pretty sure I can wear this piece, so this works. Now I'm going to use more of my stapler and do this. So I'll do the same with this one. like this. So I've got two of these backpack straps ready. Now all I gotta do is attach them to my big old thingy right here. The white paper. So that's what's gonna hold these straps together. And I'm gonna do that by doing something like this. Or maybe like this. That both works. I think I'll do it this way. So, one piece of stapler facing the other way, like that, another piece like that, right there as well, and the same thing on this side. Like that, and I have a back, back strap made in just five minutes. Now, I'll quickly see if I can actually wear it. It's too small, I'm gonna need a new person, I mean a third person to 
help me put this on but it does fit me perfectly so I'm just gonna move on now I'll put this aside and bring out my AFO paper so what we're gonna do with AFO is roll it into a cylinder like this and then probably use my stapler now for this one I'm gonna use my tape now you you just need to fold it like this take a big chunk of tape and stick it like this so I don't know if you guys you guys have seen my action figure of Dr. Octopus but if you have you might know what I'll be doing next so what I'm gonna be doing next is gonna be making some cuts on this cylindrical piece to make it look like actual tentacles so okay, once you have that I mean I will be doing a bunch cut of cuts number like one this. right here as well and there you go you have some like this you just wanna fold it in this way and then it should roll around like this so this is exactly what an octopus arm is like according to my craft style so I wanna do this for all these two more pieces and I'll show you what to do next Okay, there it is. So we have a cylinder with a bunch of cuts all over it, and that's exactly five cuts in a single AFO. So the next thing we're gonna be doing is joining these three pieces together. And I'm not quite sure how to do that exactly, but I think this should work. By the way, forgive the weird laptop noises. I'll quickly try and fix it. Okay, so I'm gonna stick these pieces together like this using a bit of tape. Next thing is going to be attaching this thing to our main backpack itself, which is right there, and I think it doesn't fit on camera pretty well. But let's see how it goes. So I'm going to flip this the other way around, and then take one end of the octopus tentacle, make cuts like this. like that and then you just need to tape it in there so it does look like an octopus arm but before I do that I'm gonna need to make the actual three finger claw thing which the each of the arms have now for that I'll be using one more extra piece of AFO paper like that, and then I'll be folding in it into three equal halves. I'm cutting off the side pieces to make it all equal in length. Like that. And then I will fold them like this each of them and then use my stapler to give it a, a strengthy look and to prevent it from opening up as well 
Oh, I ran out of staplers, so I'll quickly do that and I'll see when it's done. Okay, that's done. I have three of these pieces. Now I'm gonna attach them in a way that it looks like a claw. Like that. Oh, come on. The laptop noises are back. Okay, either way. So you can decorate it by your own as well to make it look more cooler and nicer, but I'm just gonna finish mine real quick like this. Do some folds in there. Some folds in there. Like that, and then you have a claw completely ready. So I'm gonna attach this on one of its end, like such. Here's my tape. There it is. Okay. A massive piece of tape. And, then, and now, it's finally time to put it on this guy. So I'm gonna attach this right there using my stapler once again. Thank you very much. So like that I have completely staplered each of these right there. And then I have a really really long tentacle as well. I'm gonna make four of these, I mean three more of these and attach on either side and I should be completely done with our project here. So I'll see you when all of it is done. Alright, so I managed to stick all those pieces together into the single backpack. Here are the straps. And this took a lot more longer than I'd anticipated, but here are all four tens. Tentacles, and I don't have someone to help me put this on right now because everyone's outside. So I think you guys have seen in the thumbnail of me putting this on, but that's about it. I'm not gonna wear it on camera because I don't have anyone to help me do that. But I'm gonna lay it down here so you can see it perfectly. It's quite dark outside, so the camera quality is a bit dull, but let me just quickly solve that real quick. Okay, now it should be a bit more visible, so I'm arrange it in the way it's supposed to be, so there it is. All the tentacles are right here, and they are very sturdy, they won't tear apart easily because we have used a bunch of tape, and they will bend in any direction you want them to bend, they're very flexible, and each one of them have their own claws. So very sick, this one is a quick build, this is just a prop, not for any function. So if you're looking for a costume, well it's not Halloween so I can't say that, but if you're still looking for a costume then this is a good option. But that's about it for this video I guess, I'll pick it one more up, I'll pick it up one more time, there it is. So I've got all four of them laid out, I'll quickly lay it so I can like give you guys a top view. So there it is, all the tentacles are right there. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you got some inspiration to do some paper crafts. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment me down below what should I do next in my next video, and share my videos. Thank you, bye bye.